Hello everyone, this is Shay from Party White Gaming. I am doing my second ever uh, stream of uh, Hellblade. Um, we'll be starting up again. Um, I know last time I was sick and had a raspy voice. I still have a very raspy voice because I'm recovering from being sick. So, um, my start is to my debut to streaming has been um, Bumpy at best. Bumpy, yes. Also, hi, Rin and Rez are here too. Hello. Yes, they are because I'm gonna I'm gonna be swearing and freaking out whenever I get into a fight because I can't concentrate. Um, but hey, last time, um, last time we uh, we started, we were following the story of uh, Sinua diving into the Norse version of Hell to save her dead lover. We discovered that she had set herself in a self-imposed exile. Well, actually, I should start with the full di the disclaimer. Uh, this game has a very heavy uh, draw on psychosis, and what psychosis is um, uh, is the perception of the world that is not physically accurate to everybody else. Ugh, there's a better way to put it. Um, we are seeing the eye, we are seeing the world through Sasuna's eyes, and those eyes are yes, plagued geez. with mental issues, so. And I, I'm hesitant to call it like an illness. I'm going to take a sip of water. Um, but she's, uh, but she has a very severe case of psychosis. So hearing voices. She's got the shining. Shining. Uh, so she hears voices, um, sees things. Uh, her perception of the world is different. Colors might seem brighter or darker. Or um, her basically her senses are kicked up, and um, yeah. Um, the other disclaimer, this is a very graphic game, so uh, there may be some scenes that are a bit too squeamish, as we found out last time, uh, like with the blood eagle. <coughs> Excuse me. <It> intensifies. <coughs> Pardon me. But, um, so I can't talk for two extended periods of time without my voice having to rest, but we'll see how it goes. I also withhold executive <laughs> power to <laughs> throw in the towel for you when you start sounding like you're gonna die. And I am the other corner man that will argue with Rin when he starts to do it, be like, no, no, they can handle it, don't throw, throw in the towel! Sports reference. Yeah, as I, just get, I get beat up in the ring. Um, so yeah, last time. You probably take it. Last time. You started, want me? To, you want me to uh, sum it up? Yeah, go ahead, please. All right. So when we when we left Les Sasuna, uh, she, and it was Sinua. I don't know why I'm adding another N in there. Uh, she was in a self-imposed exile because of her psychosis. She came back to find that her entire village was killed by Vikings. Thus, including her husband. Especially her husband. Especially her husband, who we found out was the leader of the chief, was the leader of the the uh, village, and was kind of the one to calm her problems to the point where she could function. So losing him kind of exacerbated all of her issues, and she set out on this crusade to go into hell in order to rescue him. Uh, now, Sinua is quite the swordswoman, and her other skills are she was helped out and taught by a crazy man, who maybe isn't so crazy, and I've forgotten his name, unfortunately. Uh, that would be, um, Druth. He's the storyteller. Right, so... Uh, he's the guy who told her all the stories of the Northmen, or the Vikings. So, we are currently charging our way through the Viking lands. Uh, we had an encounter with Hell, 
it didn't go our way. In fact, we lost our sword, and we are currently trying to get a hold of a magical sword. No, we got that the new sword. Didn't oh, we? did we get the new? Sword? I Not think we yet. found. We oh, I, I, I thought we, we. I thought we ended on it. We did. We, we found ended. it. Yeah. Yeah, we found it. We didn't pull it out. It's in a tree, I believe. It's Garm, I think. Maybe it is Garm. Garm. Yeah, it's it's Garm. a it's a Norse. Garm. Yeah, it's a cool it's a cool sword, and we're gonna get it. Also, we have to uh, we have we have Rook telling us stories or Druk. Uh, but the other thing that we have to contend with is the voices in Sanua's head, who are not always helpful. Uh, they kind of put her down quite often, but every now and then we get a helpful uh, cry out of, <laughs> watch out, there's someone behind you, or something like that. Um, I would also like to touch on the uh, the other gods that we faced before. Um, uh, let's see, it was... Oh gosh, their names are escaping me now. Um, the god of illusion. I know one of them was Surtur. Yes, yeah, Surtur. Surtur. Surtur, the god of fire, or the titan, or giant, fire giant. Fire giant. Um, but uh, there were some there were some scenes that gave a bit of the backstory. Uh, I know some of us were kind of hesitant to talk about of it, about some of it, but it occurred to me that a lot of these, um, a lot of what she's perceiving now in these encounters are mirrors to what she experienced before um so depending on how you look at it like whether you whether you want to say that everything Sinua, uh, Sinua is seeing is in her head um or it's real and she just perceives it this way or she's actually quite literally traveling into hell um but it's it's not out of the question to say um uh, she does say like someone was following her or something was stalking her in the woods and that turned out to be the god of illusion I'm going and it continues so we can start loading but um uh there's this game leaves a lot to be decided by the viewer basically um There are no wrong interpretations, but there is only one correct one, and we don't know it because we're not the creators of the game. Uh, this is true. Ooh, do I have to go through this again? I think I do. <laughs> so, here we are. Still injured from getting bitch slapped off a bridge by Hella. She had no no fucks to give no. about us trying to uh, invade her home. No, hell is very um. What's a good word for it? She has no fucks to give about anything ever. Yeah, she didn't care. Also, for some gameplay thing, the. The black mark on Sanua's arm is basically how many lives she has. When that mark gets all the way up to her face, she's dead, Shay is done, and we'll have to restart if she wants to go. And I might, I might, you know, skip the stream till we get there. Finally announced that we were streaming. What's happening? Senua, imagine a sword that can slay gods. It's a pretty good picture. You use their meep. This grammar. It is for oh, it just ran random screenshots. Odin and gifted to Sigmund. Well, I like it. Great warrior. Yeah, it's pretty, pretty spot on. This sword. It's important. 
Can you help me? The sword appears whole, but it is an illusion. It shattered into shards long ago. It is said a great warrior can reforge ground by answering the trials of Odin, one for each shard. The roots of the Tree of Death will take you to new lands where you will face the trials. Go to the shards. Go to the shard. Go to the shards. What's the shard? Find it. So, uh, fair warning. We're about to dive straight into Sinua's mine. And some things look a little creepy. Hell yeah, bring on the crazy. So we'll start with this one. Get closer. What can you see? Go to it. It's not safe. A king in the north forced the dwarves to make a sword that would never fail and never rust, and that would slice through iron and stone and bring victory to its bearer. But the angry dwarves cursed it. It would be the death of a man every time it was drawn. And it would be the but death I'm no the man. Let me tell you dwarves about in, the sword. Dwarves in Nordic the mythology are, are badasses at the forging. Mm, yeah. yeah. I don't recognize this place. <coughs> Where is she? It feels wrong. Where are we now? It's not in Kansas anymore. Not. So strange that we go to such a place. Saint to Grandma's North mythology. Something so very ordinary, inevitable. It's as if we conspire to hide death. I thought we were going for Grandma. Why aren't we talking about tearing or typing? But when it comes, eh? We're talking about. They're talking about another sword. Friends, yeah, they're talking about a couple different swords. But the one we're going after is record. Grammar. I feel like I missed something. And for anyone who uh, wasn't part of the stream last time, Sinua is a picked warrior. She's from uh, a tribe, um, one of the Celtic tribes. Also, if you weren't here last time, how dare you? But also, welcome. Yes. I did miss something. Why do you not put me on the title? <laughs> oh, um, because, you know, you're... You're here. Senua, you and you're awesome. Story mm. about a young not, a, not, not awesome enough to get Billy in, though. Herver, well... The daughter of a berserker, born after he was killed. She's a wild, willful child who teaches herself to fight with weapons. When she learns where her father is buried, speaking of billing, he desires to reclaim the treasure buried with him, but above all, the sword, Tyrving. Oh yeah, Hundle bundle, build your tiny bundle. Oh, that's right. I gotta look into that. I I did I did mean to put down something like special guest, Rin. Or res, but it just seemed like it wouldn't fit quite as well. We love you, Rez. Huh? Yeah. Sure. Really feeling it. Don't don't feel bad. It's don't feel bad. Punch Club is actually surprisingly fun. It's in the it's in the bundle. That's why I mention it. Ooh. Oh yeah, that's like the the punching RPG. Yeah, the only thing I don't like is it kind of just doesn't have an ending. <laughs> well, it just goes on forever. No, it know, just here. stops. Here the <laughs> like oh. First met, I mean. Technically, that's an ending. Ooh, it's so hard to see. She doesn't have one of them D and D torches. Oh, 
some dun dung. It is some weird lighting angles going on. Yeah, but um, what's wrong? What happened? Have to remember, Sanua sees things differently. That's true, I suppose. Just wait there. I'll find you. Find him, get him back. He was just there. How could you lose him? How could she lose How him? How could she find him? These voices are really mean. Usually they are. Usually. Oh my god, do you see that Sinewa is so fat? I just, like, for the furthest from the truth, she actually looks super malnourished. <laughs> I'll find him. She needs to eat some pork. I don't want to say that this torch is kind of useless, but this torch is kind of useless. It's very useless in her head. Was that voices? Is that his voice or the voice of the dead? Not Dillian. Dillian's calling to you. Mm. Where is he? Where is he? There's Stop another voice further away. Dillian. Oh, have you lost him? You're going the wrong way. Hera disguises herself as a man to join a band of warriors, and soon becomes their leader. Sounds like this. When they come to the island picked. where her father is that buried, her men do not. It's like Gaston, but not. They say that evil haunts the island, and How that can it is you worse read this? by day There's than no other pictures. people are by night. Fearless, she lands alone. There are many grave mounds, and all of them have ghostly flames burning over them. She comes to the grave mound of her father after passing through these ghostly fires as though they were mist. I did not light that torch. Maybe you did. Maybe you're a fire starter. I can hear. Are we playing Metal Gear Solid Five. This place gets so disoriented. That was in the very. I know. Herver calls it's just a good song. To wake from it's death. Was. And bring her his sword. She the red rooms are the ones you had in town before, right? Mines to bear valuable weapons. Or did the blue one still have answers value? with words of warning? You go to your doom. Baleful runes surround you. You have gone mad. You have lost your mind. Your thoughts are You've gone mad. It is dangerous to wake the dead. Like I said, she reminds me of you. Oh God. Oh, I see what happened. I can walk in circles. <laughs> the circles of her mind. It circles, it circles, it circles, it circles, it circles. Honestly, don't remember how I got follow through this part. The, follow the D and D logic. Always go left. It probably won't work here. Oof. So this time there are two. On the edge of anticipation. Uh, we I'm waiting, for, waiting. waiting for like a fucking wolf to come tearing ass out of one of these passageways. Can't wait to see what happens. 
Oh, it's the shields. We're supposed to be following the shields. Oh. Are we? Are you supposed to be following a specific color? Because those ones were red. That one looks green. There were a bunch of red ones back the other way. Hmm. But now there's, there's nothing there. Hmm. Oh, wait. What color is that one? That's blank. Yeah. Oh, it's getting loud here. This is different. Are you able to crouch? Looks like there's a hole there. Yeah. We're still behind. <laughs> Sorry. It's like you're, uh, you, you've got it. Oh no, it's doing the weird triple E thing. Well, that means you found the right way, at least. Or the wrong way, alternatively. Thank you, Contrarian. It's like we have morph here. It's not doing it. Damn. Found a secret room. Oh, this is so disorienting. Well, I don't want to go down there. Not yet. Away from the red room. You have fallen in. You think this just Dillian's voice is a trap. You I wish I could I wish I could run right now. Just to speed things up. Try following the orange and black shields. You think that voice is Dillian's? It's not. It's beckoning you to Within the burial mine. Herever calls on her father to wake from death and bring her his soul. Oh, we already... She says that it is not seemly for the dead in their grave mines to bear valuable weapons. Her father Shit. answers with words. I got of turned around. You go to your doom. Baleful runes surround you. You have gone mad. You have lost your mind. Your thoughts oh, he's are confused. Himself. It is dangerous. Yeah, to I went dead. back to. I got. Like I said, magically transported back to one of the first rooms. Okay, so I go this way. And then this way. <laughs> so you're not following the shields? I no, think I no. am. But now there's two shields. Then I go this way. And this way. There's my torch. Maybe we're not supposed to go down the same torch, or we're not supposed to go for the same shield more than once? I don't know. Uh, that could actually be true. Herver ignores her father's warnings. The grave mound opens, and it seems to be full of fire. Again, Herver demands her inheritance. But her father, hey, we didn't have that sword one. is cursed. I don't think we had the spoon, spoon just messaged me and he's like, Any thoughts on what I should wish for from from my god? It's like, dude, always holy avenger. But the curse holds true. 
and death would fall. Like, if a god's giving you a free wish other than so killing the big bad guy, which isn't going to happen, just get the Holy Avenger. You're a paladin. I think he, it's the best thing you can get. I think he has one, though. Does he? Maybe. I honestly don't know. I never I, really I, watched I, their games. I don't, I don't know either. But I think they gave someone gave him one on that one where I jumped in and read the letter. I don't know though. I didn't. I don't know. Yeah, he asked I mean, me too. So it doesn't. It I'm doesn't get much better. Oh, probably. he says that's that's on his top three. So yeah. I guess he doesn't have one. Yeah, probably not. Uh, my suggestion would be like have them revive everyone who died because of these schemes, but I don't know if that would fly anyway. Then I stab Skytar now. Damn. How did I figure this out last time? Mm. Was it not lighting the torches in the areas you missed? I did, but I'm stuck in a, in a loop. So let's see, there's that. I need to backtrack to a certain room. <gasps> That's the same room. Do I go down the same room? All the torches I need to get back to the red room. And hope I actually lit all the torches. But if you failed, then that would be unfortunate. to go in. I don't want to go back. I don't want to go. The load is gone. Paula? Her load? Yep, this is a flashback. Flashback! I'm leaving. I've decided. I think it will be good for me. Think of what's best for your people. It's the darkness. It's speaking through. No, Dad, it's me. I think I can beat it. In my own way. I can see the darkness in your eyes, child. I met a boy. Boy? The chief, no. He said he could help me. It's a trick. He said it could be normal. Wow, he's huge. Normal. Yeah, he's yes. a tall fucking man. Well, this is from her pers- This was from- No boy is going to save ago. you. No one can. 
when they see the rot growing no. inside you. No. They will turn their back on you. Thanks, Dad. The gods can only fix you through my hand. You're going nowhere. Is he getting a little uncomfortable? Yeah. yeah. Well, it looked like his hand oh. had some rot on it when he grabbed her. You will not defy the gods. Come, child, take my hand. Come. Send one. No! I am leaving! You cannot escape the darkness. Your curse will make everyone suffer. You will have blood on your hands! So, yeah, um, the boy was the chieftain's son, uh, which is why he was the leader when we, when they, uh, when the Vikings came. Uh, Sinua's father is, or was, a druid. Oh, that's why he's so supportive. Yeah, he's, um... He's a druid who thinks he's the only one in touch with the gods. And that did not go well for Senua, who has, you know, psychosis. Death for Sigmund and his brother seems certain. What? But okay. the king's wife is Sigmund's sister. He was and sort of a bastard. For mercy and implores the king to chin them up instead. He agrees. Not for mercy, though, but because he plans an even more cruel and lingering death. Chained to a tree in the forest that night, a she-wolf comes and devours one of Sigmund's brothers. She returns, ravenous, night after night, until only Sigmund is left. The next day, Sigmund's sister sends a servant with honey to, to smear on Sigmund's face. But to what end? Well... That night, when the she-wolf appears again, you'll never guess what happens. <laughs> All right. So now... Ugh, I think this was one of the ones that creeped me out. Maybe the strike the northern lands of ice. It was so terrible that not the oldest man among us could remember the like. Hundreds died. The sickness took nearly every person younger than forty and many older. And where dying mothers gave birth, the marks of the plague were on the babes as they came out of the womb. Sorry for any of the noise. I popped a recall in my mouth. That's what I figured was going on. This is wrong. This has to be wrong. This place stinks. Uh, it's disgusting. It smells like death. Oh, I can't breathe. Can you there smell? he is. There Did he is. The light. Go towards it. He's in the house. He's Find going it. in. He's disappearing. Follow him. Don't let him disappear. The air. Where's it gone? Keep going. How do you find it? It's just a trial. It's just another test. So, just another through test. these trials, you will find him. Then you will succeed. have to follow so the glowing nice. spirit just boy. Just one little test to do. You can almost... Oh, ah, yes. That glowing spirit, spirit boy. Gross. It's a test. 
Hi, Roche. How you doing? Don't worry, I try. The lovely Shay is behind the wheel today. I'm just here helping commentate. Do you smell it? Yeah. And keeping an eye on chat, so feel free to be ch chatty, and I'll do my best to entertain while she gets us through this whoopy game. That looks so disgusting to be wading through. Oh, it looks yeah, so gross. Rot. But no one else could. She knew something was wrong. Something more illusion sinister. It's my she begged them Also, that was a body. Laughed at her. That was what? But soon enough. <laughs> there was a dead body up against that house. The oh, oh, there are a few of them. No one was yeah, I can't imagine what was the source of the death. Mm, I don't know. This lake town looks pretty stable. Yep, I think the theme for this one is plague. Oh yeah, that. That's a good guess, especially with the green, gross water. Fun fact, uh, if you kill a bunch of cats, there's... Mm, vermin gets out of control, and you get a plague. Oh, fun. Don't kill cats. Not cats. like that's never happened before. I can't, I don't know what uh, you're asking. I can't imagine why. Cats are a sign of the devil. Not like these rats that spread diseases. <laughs> yeah, right. Now you sound like someone who doesn't believe in vaccines. Well, sir. Sir. Yes? If anything, vaccines the North are a gift from God. Not a natural light, shaped like a half moon that appears inside a house. That's how a logical person would look at it, anyways. I once saw the death. That mean beats the illogic the shepherd of it. Then a exactly. Guest died. And then the farm. Yeah, like. And then the mm, farmer and six I hate to like drag religion talk into this, but like, that was like the one episode of Family Guy that I actually agreed with when they talked about like the vaccine and and like pray him better ones but it's like the the moral takeaway you know lois ended up saying it's like don't you think instead of denying the kid medicine you just look at it as the vaccines are god is god answering your prayers for how to help him and it's like oh shit logic bomb <laughs> because it's like why wouldn't you look at it that way? Like, I, I don't understand where it's like, oh, we can't accept the medicine because it's unnatural. It's like, no. It's like, you actually, they devised vaccines and stuff naturally through, you know, actual occurrence, like mold and stuff. It's like, there's nothing unnatural about the way medicines work. It's like, oh, none of that natural. makes sense. It's like, none of that makes sense. And it's like, yes, it, to keep your kid from dying, Look at it from a positive outlook, and uh, I don't know. All right. Anyways, back to back to Sanua being crazy, right? Right. She could have done some good with the Ritalin. I don't even. I don't think that would have helped actually. I don't know. Well, but that yeah. that made me think of a fun South Park joke too. Psychosis isn't really a thing that you get rid of. It's just how the brain is wired. Yeah. And so what you're you saying just gotta, is there's we need to her with a stick until it fixes. There's benefits and drawbacks to um to certain mental cases. Yeah. You just gotta balance all the riddle in with riddle out. Riddle what? Riddle woo. I'll do you one better. What is Gamora? <sighs> Come to me. Sorry, we watched we watched that over the weekend. I'm here. I'm right that here. like we watched it like three times, and and that scene with the guardians 
cracked me up every time. I don't know why people said that Drax didn't do anything. He was hysterical. Was oh, Drax was great. And I mean, big, Drax red can't do anything in regards to Infinity War. It's like, it happened one night he kind of knows and heart, accepts pretty quickly that he's not capable of dealing with Thanos. Even in the comics, he was like, yeah, I can't stop him, but I'm still going to try. And that's exactly what he did. Yeah, it's like, and that's what he... That, but that's what he did, though. It's like, in both the comic and the movie, you know, he's like, there's no way I can stop him, but I'm gonna fucking hit him anyways. And he did. And other than, you know, he didn't, he didn't mess up royally like Peter Quill did, and unlike most no, of the fuck. human population, oh shit, no. Shit, 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 Yep, this is the fucking this scary part. I don't okay. remember how this happened, I don't remember how I got through this, I'm gonna die. It's not Dylan! Also, wow, Dylan is not a very Celtic sounding name. Dylan. Dylan. Hey Dylan, you wanna go uh, out on a raiding help, party? Help, 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 help. Was there there was like a fire thing where you supposed to go that way? Yes. Oh, turn around. Oh wait, there it is. Keep running, keep running, keep running, keep running. Keep running. Oh running away from it, not towards it. So that, that fire fucking creeps me out. Yeah, I am a she has a fear of burning. Good to know. He's a vampire. Taking too long. Can you hear him? You lost the rooms. You have to find them. The light. Go towards it. Focus. Focus. Also, that's really a shame the Geek and Sundry one didn't work for you. Yeah. Because that's a that's a pretty entertaining uh, vampire, the Masquerade. Even if Eric Ishii is playing a really dumb new blood. You've got them. I'm gonna hold on to my humanity. No, stop it. Is it getting hot in here? Or is it just you? Oh, shit. Dylan! Is it like a bull or a horse? Flashback. Also, good job on keeping the uh, corruption pretty contained. Sano. You made it what sound like it was really hard to do and it was going to be just all Can over the place. Play? They say that I'm cursed. I'm here for you, want? girl. Because I love you. How would they know such a thing? Are they gods? None of us are. They're just... people. Good people, but... they're scared. They're afraid of what they can't see. Like children scared of the dark. They make up stories to fill Whoa, the Dylan, void. Whoa, that's a pretty progressive way of thinking. What if my friend right? to tone that back, bitch. You have to step out of this darkness. Let them see who you really are like I am. I mean, he's just a simple village leader. How is he even thinking this, this, this educatedly? It's like, whoa, bro. You don't you don't get to speak for the masses on them being ignorant. You're not like a scholar or anything. You don't know the secrets. But I have the mind, Jim. Has made me a monster. Snap. I'm really Paul Bettany. What if this is pointless? I want to talk about not doing anything in that movie. There you go. Vision really didn't do anything, no. Vision's done nothing ever since. Oh, you want to know what put in? You want to know what pissed me off? You want to know what pissed me off about uh, watching that movie over the weekend? When everybody started dying, 
and it got to the part where Spider-Man collapsed in, in Stark's arms. My mom goes, good, I'm glad he died. He's so dumb. Why is he whining about this? It's like, his fucking Spidey sense is going off. It's like, he's a, he's a 16-year-old boy having to come to grips with the fact that he's the only one who understands he's dying. Also, this has been a pretty crazy ass day for a 16 year old boy who's usually just dealing with like muggers. Exactly. And it's like, ah, oh, it aggravated me. It was like, he's a kid. Of course he's freaking out. Um, I would like to take a 10 minute break. Absolutely. How do I do that? Uh, just go ahead and pause it. Um,. If you're gonna step away, like you can uh, mute your microphone and just remember to turn it back on when you come back. Okay, so I will step away um, and I will be right back. All right. Can you hear me? So how's everybody doing? Had a couple people turn out. Had a couple people talking, which is great. You're looking at some some Senua sacrifice, which is always spoopies, spoopy scares. I'm just working on my homework again. <laughs> homework. Watching the yeah, good times. Oof. Can't wait for the Harley Quinn cartoon. It's gonna be good. Yeah, that uh, that actually looks really, really funny. And it's like I, I like I said yesterday too. It's like whoever writes the movies, they need to just stop going to those people. They need to go to these people who write the cartoons and who write the TV shows, because those people have an idea of what it's supposed to be. And it's like I'm glad that it ripped on itself. And was, you know, smart enough to rip on uh, Deadpool for not getting his cartoon out, but still doing the same thing they're doing. Because it's like, it's good that you see what works and are making tactical adjustments to better reach out to the people who like that sort of thing. So, I have high hopes for it. It was kind of weird uh unsure of the way they were displaying poison ivy but maybe it just needs more yeah yeah i think i think with more exposure that wouldn't be so bad 
Maybe. I mean, they just kind of showed her as like the bitchy and different girlfriend. And I mean, if it works, it works. Because it's like you could do like the she go angle where she's just snarky and sarcastic and it would be great because she still kicks butt because Poison Ivy kicks butt. You know, in the comics, she actually took over for Swamp Thing for a while as, like, the guardian of the planet. Or the guardian of, like, the the green. I believe it. Yeah, pretty interesting. They didn't keep it, but, yeah. This would be a cool story arc, though. Can't have her being not a bad person. It was kind of weird. Like, it was still, she wasn't, she wasn't, like, a good person good guy, but she wasn't as bad. She totally wants to jump Swamp Thing's bone, too. It's like... He's the only man who could handle her. Pretty much. Hey, Swamp Thing, I know you got, like, a dead dude's body chilling out inside all your vines, but I'm, I'm okay with that. Yeah, that's the thing. The Swamp Thing's weird. Swamp Thing is weird, but not as weird as the Toxic Avenger. I don't understand how that guy got his own cartoon. Uh, the Damn same reason. The same Damn. recent Attack of the Killer Tomatoes got one. Merchandising. Yeah, but there was nothing. Nothing remotely child friendly about the Toxic Avenger. It was the 80s. They didn't raise no sensitive pussies back then. My God. Also, I have all of the Tales from the Loop mapped out now. Yay. I know exactly where you're going and how it's supposed to end. And plenty of room for filler. Also, no, yeah. it's, not, it's not turned on, Max, because it's Shay's running it from her computer, so the bot doesn't well, to turn on music from her. No, no, no. Uh, no, it's technically on and it's technically running through mine i just don't have the song thing up because i would have to immediately stop it when she gets back all right sorry about that like now well, yeah. well there you go yeah um fun thing about this game um it's notorious for causing motion sickness oh it got a little oh. too much for you yeah you good now i think so that's why i got ginger ale um, but yeah, I grabbed a quick I have snack, um, got a quick snack, and um, let my stomach settle for a moment. Uh, but yeah, I think I've had, like occasionally, um, I'll get that weird motion sickness-y thing, and I get really bad motion sickness. I want to Oof. tell you a story. About a god of the Northmen called Baldur. That's a really cool the looking son of Odin. I love he those patterns. Beautiful, good and wise. He was fair of feature. He spoke fair words. He gave fair judgments. Light shone from him. Baldur? Only Baldur. good Baldur. things to be told of him. <laughs> that oh, was that was such a god. that was such a cool thing about God of War as well. Uh, have you have you seen any of it, Rez? Uh, some, uh, some of it. Uh, Balder is the uh, bad guy in the new God of War, and uh, well, yeah, and, and like they do they do their own fun twists on all of it, and basically because uh, you know how the myth is that you know he was impervious to everything and nothing could hurt him in the God of War twist. 
uh, because Freya loved him so much. You know, she did the she did the spell so that you know he could never be hurt by anything. But the drawback was that was uh, he couldn't feel anything. And so it ex- it extended to literally everything. He couldn't feel, uh, he couldn't feel sensations. He, you know, everything was dull to him, and it was driving him insane. And it made him I- invulnerable and immortal. But you know, there was there was nothing. And so he he hates uh, his mother Freya for it because he deems it as a curse. He was like, you know, it's not, it's not natural. It's like you shouldn't have done that to me. It's like I can't feel anything. And it's like, and so you know, the whole shtick was uh, Odin wanted him to track down Kratos and you know do all this stuff. And of course, you know, he's the god who can't be killed. And as they're going through, you know, you end up having to tangle with him a bunch of times and. You know, every time Kratos would put the smack down on him, you know, he would just keep getting back up. And it was how they started to Northman sprinkle in the clues about, the uh, about who his Bowman. son was. Because uh, he Dark ends up, uh, you know, his the, the kid's whole deal Bowman is he, of his own you know, uses the bow and arrow. And so when they're in Alfheim, he so finds some mistletoe arrows. In the world. And... Water. When they uh, stop by Freya's again, because you know Freya's nice to Kratos and the and the boy, uh, she sees those mistletoe arrows and she freaks the fuck out. She's like, "Where did you find these? You can't, you can't have these ever." It's like, "Let me get rid of those for you, so nothing bad will happen." And they're like, "What do you mean bad?" Okay, crazy. Only Loki, father of Hela, the mistress of death, is not amused. And that's what this story's talking about. Yep. And, you know, that's a real misnomer, too. Uh, DC, of course, paints Loki in a very bad picture, but Loki was actually a really good guy. Uh, him he, he did ki- take getting... jokes to an extreme. Yeah, he, he yeah. Was, Balder, Balder good, getting, Balder guy, getting... He's kind of an asshole. <laughs> yeah, Balder getting killed was entirely an accident. Um, but I remember doing a, uh, another report on a, uh, on some stories about Loki and Thor, and there is such a good story uh, about, you know, it, it starts the way all North mythology stuff starts. Uh, the Thor was out partying with a bunch of Vikings. They got really drunk and passed out, and he wakes up and his hammer's gone. And so his first reaction is, ah, oh, that son of a oh, bitch God. Loki took it. I, I think I know the story you're talking about. Yeah. And so he's like, he's like, that son of a bitch Loki took it. And so, you know, he, he's like, brother, what'd you do with my hammer? And he's like, hey, I don't know what happened to your hammer, but I'm such a good brother. I'll help you track it down. And so they end up finding out that uh, some giants took it. And the, the giant who took it uh, wants to marry... Uh, one of the one of the goddesses, the warrior goddess, Sif. I think it was Sif, um, and he's like, you know, I, I want to pre- present Thor's hammer to Sif as a wedding present, and so Loki's like, Thor, I found out who's got your hammer, and we can't just go in there and start picking a fight. You know, you don't have your hammer, so we can't, you know, fight them and beat them up. You know, we have to do this tactically, and so he manages to convince Thor. And himself to dress up as women, and to sneak in. Specifically, Thor dresses up and pretends to be Sif for this. And whatever Loki did to dress them up, Thor was so beautiful that this giant was stumbling over himself. And you know, they show up at this wedding, and the giant's like, oh, you're so beautiful, let me kiss you. And Thor's like, no, stop it. <laughs> and it's like, you know, they're going through this whole wedding ceremony, and he's like, oh, you know, I'm Sif, so, you know, give me my give me my wedding present soon to be husband. And the giant's like, of course, you know, you're, you're so beautiful and so worthy of marrying me, so here's, here's just Thor's inter- hammer. Just to interject quickly, the, the thing that makes this funnier is I believe Sif and Thor are married. Pretty much. Yeah. <laughs> 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 this giant's macking on Thor's wife. 
Uh huh. And and basically, you know, the the giant is just like, yeah, you know, you're you're so you're so ravishing, you know, Thor in a dress. You know, I I want to marry you and you know make babies with you. So here's Thor's hammer, and you know the second Thor gets his hammer back, the two of them drop their disguises and proceed to beat the fuck out of all of the giants at this wedding ceremony. <laughs> And it's like, that's it. That's the whole story. It's like, Thor got drunk, lost his hammer, dressed up as a woman, got it back, killed a bunch of people. The end. And then as they're the walking gods, home, Thor's like, rejoice. Brother, you and remember that time themselves. you turned into like a horse and my horse fucked you, and that's how Dad's horse came to me. Sword and yeah. But he comes to no harm. Loki was whatever weird. They do. The gods Loki, never well, yeah, I mean, look at this. Look at all the kids he's had. Like hell. But Loki shapes or himself Fenris. into a woman and or asks Or the Midgard Serpent. <laughs> Is it Dormunger. All things promised to keep him safe. I did not ask the mistletoe. Yeah, there's some, uh, there's some really cool I it was uh, too young. stuff going on with the mythological creatures. Like, uh... In the world tree, you know how there, there's uh, Needhog, the world or the the dragon that like chews on the vines and stuff. Uh, on the top, there's an eagle that basically watches over all of the all of the realms. But then there's also uh, Radisoker. It's a uh, a giant squirrel, and its only purpose is to run up and down the the bark or the trunk of this tree, relaying messages to to Needhog to the eagle and back and all he does is just relay the shit talk that the two of them are, are passing to each other and it's like ah once I'm done eating this world tree I'm gonna come up there and get you and it's like yeah you try it fucker and it's just his job is just to spread gossip and run back and forth and yeah it was a good time That's you know what it's just in there like Jesus fucking Christ why did I put him in charge of this shit right but uh yeah that was uh that was one of the cool things I learned from that uh, that one camp, that one Viking campaign setting that I tried to do for a little while, and some asshole wanted to be Egyptian. Who could that be? Cough, cough. Is it more kidding? <laughs> no, no, it wasn't more. Uh, but there was, yeah, it was you. Oh, you, well, I, I'm sorry. <laughs> you, I'm um, kidding. That was I was giving you a hard time because you wanted to use your Sphinx character. Uh, oh. But uh, yeah, I learned I learned about the the squirrel god uh, because there was a uh, there's like a prestige class that's the herald of Ravisoker, and basically it was locked out only to shield maidens, and basically was like was like oh you're just fucking squirrel girl. It's like this is awesome. I am here to kick Thanos's ass or Galactus's ass. Uh, she beats up Thanos too. I think the joke is she's beating up everybody that she probably has no business beating up. <laughs> oh yeah, oh yeah, yeah, that comic, the, the current comic is just, it's like, we don't go into how she does it, but she's capable enough of beating them all up. Ooh, good job on that door, or stairs. Loki makes a dog uh, yeah. dirt. And goes to the Motion sickness getting to you again? Because it did look very blurry. Yeah, the blind a little bit. Hoof was there. Loki asks him why he wasn't taking part. On the flip side, a giant made the walls of Asgard and wanted to. And even if I, could I mean, yeah, that like that was the neat thing about North mythology Loki too. Is it's like they didn't always go to war with the giants. It was just kind of that thing where it was like they lived together ish, and you know, it was just a Norse thing where it was like fighting's inevitable. It's what we do. And it's like, we don't fight because we hate each other. It's just that thing that happened. And, you know, basically... You just gotta beat someone up. Well, it, and it wasn't even that. It was just some of the... Some of the... Uh, either... And it's like, because there's two there's two different sets of gods, the Aesir and the Vanir. And it's like, one of them has a number of Jotun uh, that counted as gods, which is why, like, Surtur... Uh, is counted as, you know, the fire god, um, but he's also the one who triggers Ragnarok. Uh, but it's like, yeah, a lot of a lot of them have 
you know, giant mm -hmm. blood or they marry giants and it's, I you know, there was no real time. animosity. It was just kind of, this is our thing. Friendship we fight. To love. But the shadow of darkness never Whoa. let her go. And she was caught between two girls. So what's the point of uh, shifting between so the, like, daytime and nighttime masks? I think to find the various symbols yeah, that you need to find some, in order to go up. Uh, some of them are, uh, doors are broken in one world. Ah, uh, it's kind of doing, like, kind of doing, like, a time travel thing, because yeah. this one looks like it's a little more intact. Pretty much. Neat. Cool puzzles. Yeah, uh, <laughs> Frost, the, the Doctor Doom one is definitely the best. She just sends an army of squirrels at him. When uh, she shows up later on to Ladbury, he's just like, just do what you want and leave. leave. <laughs> just do what you want and leave. Also, not only has she defeated most of the Marvel villains, she's one of the few people that fucked Wolverine and broke his heart. She dumped Wolverine, I think. That might be backwards. But her and Wolverine have a relationship. Or had a relationship. I don't know if they carried that over, but it was in the old ones. I don't know. But it was one of those where it was like, yeah, this is random and awkward. Super weird on his end. Because he's like super old. It doesn't really count for him anymore because it's like. Do you remember the way oh. He you? oh, Wolverine took her virginity. That's what it is. Overcome with grief, the gods send Hermod to ride to hell and ask Hela to let Baldur return home. All the gods Hela? are weeping. Fuck he that says. Are they? asks Hela. We shall see if he is truly missed. If everything in the world she will be for him, off a, he shall go bridge. back to the gods. But if even one thing refuses, Baldur stays with me. The gods send messengers everywhere. Yeah, but they're Baldur. they're uh, they're not on speaking terms. It's what I gather from and doing some quick research. Uh, well, yeah, he's uh, dead at the moment. Metal. No, no, I mean in general, because like the comic shows them having a really like. Oh, what are you doing here? We we said we weren't going to talk anymore. Also, also, Colossus is gay. That's just a thing now. Okay. Oh, never so, mind. So, interesting Sorry. thing about these two worlds. You're still alive and Dillian's dead. In this rainy, like, destroyed world, there's voices that say that, like, um, they're talking about, like, oh, you're guilty. Um, but in the nicer world, it's, like, all nostalgic, um, like, all talking about, um, like, how, like, do you remember how you, st how Dillian stroked your hair and that kind of thing? God, I can't wait for my voice to clear up. You don't sound as bad as you did when you were starting, so... Yeah, it it's getting progressively better, which is good, I suppose. She was strong. In the world of light... The Northmen oh, tell you know, what you. Gods you know what I'm not looking forward to, death. though? They captured him and took him to uh, a cave. They fetched his the two sons of the and turned one into a wolf. Well, besides that. He ripped no, I'm, I'm not, I'm not, not looking for... Magical the gods girls used too. Loki's own son's Some fucking cat. to tie him down. No, I'm not, I'm not looking forward to them ruining uh, uh, the, the phoenix over his in the new so coming X-Men. Not even seeing it. Each oh, I haven't seen any of those uh, uh, so I'm not, I'm not agony. since, like, the, fir the first class was so bad that it was just like, mm, 
It's like, why is why is Mystique Professor X's sister? Why is Magneto? Well, Magneto's having sex with Mystique is nothing new, but it's like, but then you just get that awkward implication of my best friend is banging my sister. And it's like, that's just a new low, even for Magneto. He can transform into anybody. And then, and then it's like, and then it's like, oh, Quicksilver is here. And we just kind of like vaguely gloss over that Magneto might still be his dad, even though he's like probably only like 10 or 15 years older than Quicksilver in this. The sad thing is, I Magneto's <laughs> one of my favorite. <laughs> oh, Magneto's characters. Magneto's Magneto. one of Magneto's hands down one of the best villain characters. Magneto's Magneto's great because you can look at his ideals and kind of agree with them. Those those are the best kind of villains where it's like you can see where they're coming from, even if they're slowly going about it the wrong way. One of my favorite moments in the comics is when uh, Xavier dies and he's like Magneto you you have to you have to take over for me and just just to show like how how important they are to each other as friends Magneto Magneto's like all right Charles and he ends up becoming the new leader of the X-Men to like try to do what Charles was doing like okay I'll try to like foster good relations with the humans, I guess, because you asked me to, and that's scene. You're important to me, so it. It was awkward for everybody involved. Cutscene. They, they adopted her, though. Frost is the thing. It's like, yeah, she was like a little homeless girl who broke into his house, but then they stayed together, and, you know, basically it was like his sister. We fix them, but... but then you had other things where it was like, hey, here's Archangel. Also, Mystique is only like 20 something, but Nightcrawler's also here, and he's like 16. It was Nightcrawler's dad. No, 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 no. Nightcrawler's in uh, the, the shitty, the last one they made with Apocalypse. Oh, well, he, yeah, he like was actual, actual Kurt. Oh, okay. um, I thought we were still talking first class. No, no, no. The no, the dad's in first class, which again, it's like he's like fucking old, and Mystique's like supposed to be only like eighteen in that one, and it's like they don't interact. So where does Nightcrawler come from? Look, look. Nobody did any fucking research, okay? I'm so sorry. So that was basically. Um... That was her boyfriend there? Yeah, that's the first time we actually see his face. Kind of looks like Jesse from Breaking Bad. Um, so yeah, that was basically him just saying that, oh, like, basically saying that your condition is not an illness. It's just part of who you are. Now the black shit that's crawling up your arm, that is an illness, and it can kill you. Alright, um, I think I'm gonna call it here, just because I'm still not 100%. I was hoping to get through all the trials this round, but I don't think I can keep going. No, you absolutely shouldn't push yourself, so... Um, we hit, a, we hit an hour, so I think this is good. Um, yeah, I think I think another hour you probably would have started losing your voice again. Um, but hey, this was good. Uh, you had a nice turnout, uh, like four to six people in just that hour. So. All right. Well, sorry everyone that I can't keep continuing. I'll pick this up next week. Uh, <coughs> hopefully, I will be one hundred percent by then. Um, but I hope you all enjoyed. Um, Got some more Norse mythology talk in, some mystery talk, some X Men talk. I know I was kind we of went on quiet, a little bit of a tangent. Yeah, <laughs> we did. We were just we fine, were. perfectly fine. Um, but yeah, I'll uh, I'll pick this up next week, same time. All right.
Good night. Take care, everyone. Have a great night, people. Good night.